Welcome to Cyber Art. Yo, what's up? CyberArts here. Today's tutorial is about the for loop in C++ number 11. I believe so, and I hope I'm not just remaking this uh, video because I've done so many loops, I'm not sure which one's which. So, uh, yeah, let's go and get started. Um, the for loop basically allows you to loop something so amount, or so many times. Um, in our case, we're going to do it until it gets to a certain number, or, so, yeah, basically gets to a certain time, or how many times it does it it will keep doing it until it gets that many times it's already done it. Um, really hard to say. Um, better, it's better to do than to do this. Um, real quick, I have some stuff up here I've been trying to make. I've actually uh, been making a game with C++. Um, uh, it's a text-based text -based game, so that's why I have these here. So please ignore that. Um, I'll get into that stuff later, actually. But right now, what we're going to do, we're going to start on the for loop. Now, after this tutorial, I'm going to start getting an advanced, um, because some of the stuff I've been learning as well have been very difficult, actually, even for me. So, yeah. But um, I got, like, this one, and then I'm going to go start doing advanced ones. Um, Alrighty, so let's go and get started with the for loop. First of all, we're going to create an integer, and we're going to call it whatever, or you can call it whatever. I'm just going to call it var. Um, for variable, which is easy. Now, here's where we actually go ahead and do it. The syntax for the for loop is for, and it's actually about it, with two little curly braces on the side. Now, in here, we're going to type in var. We're going to set it equal to zero. Then we're going to put a semicolon. Then we're going to put var. And then we're going to put, as long as it's less than nine, we're just going to do that for right now. Then we're going to put var and plus plus. Now, what this plus plus does is add one to it every time. Meaning, um, I forgot the technical name for it, but I believe it's called, um, uh, not, not, not really an integer, but something to that effect. But yeah, we're we'll going to hit enter, and now we're just going to see out. And uh, we're just going to type in hi. Alright, first we're going to make it look nice. And here we're going to type in how many times did this message pop up? How many times did this message pop up? Now, the reason why we are doing this is because it basically going to show you what the for loop does. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to compile and run this, if you will. Um, yeah. Um, this is probably the easiest tutorial you'll ever go through in your life. <laughs> um, depending on... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that, my bad. Um, and I'm going to go to tester. Um, yeah. Sorry, um, I made a new thing. I was trying to actually um, create a game. And in fact, uh, the game will be done soon. Um, maybe within this month or next. Uh, that's how kind of difficult it is. Um, coding in C++ is not that easy. Especially with text-based game. You would think it would be easy, but it's a little bit far from it. Um, sorry about that. I uh, didn't have it in there. Um, but yeah, we're just waiting on it to load up. And... There we go. Now, as you see here, it says, how many times did this message pop up? Now, let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. It did it nine times. Now, as long as it's less than nine, it's going to print up. Um, it's going to print up um, how many, you know, whatever you have under it. So, if we do, like, a hundred, you know, it would print up a hundred times. Um, I'm not going to do this because I remember I did this one time and I made it less than a uh, thousand and it sat there kept on going and going and going and going and going and I actually had to reboot my computer. So yeah, this uh, this can become uh, a little bit of, uh, uh, of a trick, a uh, prankster if you will. Um, th I'm just showing this if you want to be funny. I uh, don't take no responsibility for anything. I had no mm -mm, me no take responsibility for anything. All right, uh, that's just uh, disclaimers. But now, if we go ahead and run this again, execute, compile, and run, you'll see what it does. Um, and it did that. Now we're just waiting. And as you see here, 
uh, it shows virus, 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 like tw 10 times. and No, actually 15 times. And the reason um, it does this is because the for loop. So I'm going to go ahead and break it down like a fraction real quick. And integer var, which is our variable. We don't set it equal to none right now. Now in our for loop, it's called for the curly brace and or the parameter the left parameter if you will and var is equal to zero so we done set the value of what the variable holds at zero then we come over here it says var is less than 15 so now it's basically saying it's less than 15 so keep doing um, keep printing out until it hits 15 or less actually yeah until it hits 15 now var plus plus is basically saying keep adding up one like one at a time until um, until I have 15 you know now if we take off this end L it's gonna pop up all in one row so that's why it's nice to have the end L um, but yeah real quick I'm just gonna type in C out and L again oops all I capitalize you don't do that go ahead and copy this Paste it, paste it, paste it. I'm gonna run and execute this one more time so it looks kinda cool. Hopefully it does. Oh yeah, this still does the same thing. But um but yeah, that's how to do it. Um do the for loop and um but yeah. So let's go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff real quick to make it look where we can actually see it nice. Um, in, in, in integer variable for and we put the left parameter then at the end we put the right we basically declared that the variable has a holder of nothing we made it where if it's less than 15 we're going to print out virus like 15 times and we're going to add it by one each time so that's what the var plus plus is for so yeah thank you for watching cyber rocks i hope you learned something um feel free don't if you have any skills in computers or gaming let me know don't forget, you can always join Cyberox. And to my one fan, I do not know his name. But, hey, thanks for watching Cyberox. As always, God bless. And have a good day.